China devaluing their currency. So they did it again to us today, folks. They're taking your jobs, they're taking your money, they're taking everything. And by the way, we owe them $1.4 trillion. How do you do that? That's like a magic act. We owe China $1.4 trillion. Great deals. Right now with China, I have a friend. He's a great manufacturer. He can't get his product into China. Can't get it in. They devalue today the biggest devaluation in two decades. Two decades. Now, you know what devalue means, right? Devalue means suck the blood out of the United States. That's what devalue means, okay? Our companies won't be able to compete. They can't compete now. And what happens is they send their product over. No tax, no nothing. And I don't want tax. I want free trade. The problem with free trade, it only works when you have really smart leaders. When you have leaders that are incompetent, oh, is it a disaster. Devalued its currency by 1.9% on Tuesday, a move that took financial markets by surprise and made the Chinese yuan more market-based. CNBC reported the devaluation comes after Beijing released July trade numbers that indicated exports were down more than 8% compared to the same period a year ago. China's central bank said in a statement the markets would be permitted to play a larger role in setting the value for the currency. But Michio Koteca, head of foreign exchange and rate strategy at Barclays in Singapore, said China may intervene if further devaluation takes place in the financial markets. China's economy has been weak and getting weaker. They need to loosen policy, but they're in a bind because when they cut interest rates, that creates outflow pressures, especially when the Federal Reserve is expected to soon start raising rates. And so uh, this is, in a sense, their solution to that. If I'm holding, you know, a uh, stock in an exporting company, obviously I'm better off now because exports are really going to go through the roof. Yeah, a Chinese exporter, sure. But if you own stock in anyone who sells something to China, like a raw material producer, uh, then this is quite negative for you. So I do think that, uh, you know, the market is going to have to sort of uh, settle out the winners and losers here.